Hello everyone and welcome to Coral Island where we are here on a very very rainy day it seems and apparently we have a little bit of mail so let's see oh oops <laughs> um let's see what it says <laughs> hello kiwi uh looking for a way to pass time or maybe you want extra coins while wandering uh waiting for your crops to grow when you have the time please visit us at the beach shack we have the perfect welcome gifts for you Ooh, by sunny and eleanor okay yeah sure we can visit the beach shack well it seems like we don't have to water our crops today how nice um we need to craft a flower bouquet somehow let's see crafting we need fiber and flower how do we get fiber um how do we get fiber hmm oops <laughs> uh used to cut grass and weed also used for clearing trash is this oh there we go okay so there's fiber <laughs> let's see this world is so beautiful let's see if maybe we can uh... oh there's a flower oh, i keep uh, i keep clicking instead of right clicking oh, I, I can't wait until we can catch these bugs that's gonna be really fun okay so i think we can craft the flower bouquet now yeah okay so craft one. Oh, there we go okay well that was easy right right and then we have to uh, give a gift to someone by approaching the character we want to surprise and then giving it. Well, it seems simple enough. I wonder if I can give gifts to uh, the animals here. Of course, that would be my my first thought <laughs> when it comes to gifts. Okay, so let's see. We wanted to... Okay, there's a stranger down here. So let's go down and see who that is. It's pretty cool. You can see... Um, who would who was uh, where on the map okay so this is eleanor she's uh, she's the one who um sent the mail today her and sunny apparently which i think was the old man i think we met sunny anyways uh i was telling the mayor i didn't think anyone would want to visit the island until we got rid of the oil on the beach but you've proven me wrong Welcome to the community. Well, I am here to get rid of said oil on the beach. <laughs> that is what I want to do. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The island isn't like it used to be. It is what it is. Oh, Eleanor, don't get so depressed. I'm, I'm sure I'll... Well, we, hopefully, will be able to... Um... Yeah, there's Sunny. Okay, yeah. Uh, and we wanted to go to the Sunny's beach shack, so that's that's perfect. There's some rocks and stuff here. Very cool. Uh, it's closed. Okay, it opens at 9. Let's see, we have a little bit of time then. To clear out this trash. Uh, no, thank you. I, there we go. Gone. Be gone, trash. We don't want you here. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Speaking of beautiful, that hacking moth butterfly thing was beautiful. Man, we can we can really go out on the water here. Ah, oh, this oil. <sighs> I don't know if you guys have seen the very very sad videos of, uh, but it it doesn't look fun when uh, when animals are covered in oil. It, it's really sad. But um, I'm happy there are people who are working on. Uh, of course, getting getting rid of said oil and helping the animals that are, are trapped by it. Oh, we can get wild seeds from trash? That's pretty cool. Okay, there we go. I don't know how much um, money this will give us. <laughs> All this trash. I don't even know what I'm supposed to use this trash for. Although, uh, some sort of recycling would be nice. Who are you? Who are you? Wait, wait, I need to meet you. 
Macy. Hello to you too. I'm Macy. Uh, were you visiting? Where are you visiting from? It's nice to finally have a tourist in town. Oh, you're a tourist yourself? Oh, you just moved to Coral Island? That's amazing. Welcome and confusing. <laughs> Why? Well, I hope you're getting around all right. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Coral Island is kind of big, so getting your bearings can be pretty hard at first. Uh, you'll get used to it in no time, I have no doubt. Well, thank you, Macy. Nice meeting you. Now, let's see, can we go in here? There we go. Okay! What? Sunny, we can't, ha we can't do that to the new farmer. Poor thing will get overwhelmed if we both... Uh, give both things at once. Okay, then we start with fishing. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Who doesn't like fishing? Maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea to... Oh. Uh, hi. <laughs> Welcome. A new face at last. Kiwi, isn't it? And Jim. Kiwi is here. Nice to meet ya. Hmm... Oh, hello, Jim. <laughs> nice to finally meet you, Kiwi. Come, have a seat. Well, we met just earlier. Uh, we were just discussing your welcome gifts. Oh gosh, I don't have a lot of inventory space right now, so... It's fine if you uh, prefer to stand. Gotta keep those leg muscles strong, eh? <laughs> Speaking of leg muscles, I have the perfect workout for you. Catching bugs! Yes! Yes! Sit, sit, Kiwi. I will. I will. Um, I will not, apparently. No, I will. <laughs> Catching bugs, that is what I want. That is amazing. So, how's farm life so far? Uh, it's nothing I can't handle. <laughs> That's the spirit. Resilient youngster. Reminds me a lot about myself. You, you seem to be a bit loud. <laughs> Settle a debate for us, Kiwi. Which is a better activity? Fishing or fun uh, for, or fun and ever exciting bug, bug catching? <laughs> My wife, the competitive ladybug. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Sigh. Um. Ah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, fishing. I've I've done a, uh, some fishing in my in real life as well and i find it quite relaxing but um me being a vegetarian now kind of feels like uh you know my, my eyes have kind of opened on uh it's not the best activity for the animal itself <laughs> so to speak um but i suppose it's not very different from uh, going and hunting if you actually eat the fish itself you know and don't overcatch or anything Bug catching does sound exciting. It does. But, um... I think that also kind of hurts. At least butterflies and stuff. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever tried, like, catching a butterfly with your hands. Uh, but I do believe that makes them unable to fly a little bit later. Because the silk on their wings is so fragile. So... Or something like that. I, I don't... It was a long time ago. But, um... <laughs> If you do want to catch bugs, be sure to look it up and uh, make sure you don't actually hurt the animal you are uh, you're interacting with. Uh, but okay, um, <laughs> anyways, that was a bit of a tangent. Fishing is more relaxing or bug catching? Uh, well, I've never really done a lot of bug catching. I think uh, finding bugs is pretty fun though, but um, I'm gonna say bug catching. Thank goodness! <laughs> well... Fishing is relaxing too, Eleanor. Uh, looks like I've, I'll finally have a fellow bug enthusiast. Yes, they are very cute. I do like them. And they look so different from us, which is very fun. Well, in any case, here's our welcome gift for you. A fishing rod, a rod and a bug net. Darn, I would have gotten both. I might have picked fishing. <laughs> I don't know, I like both. I like both, as long as you don't... Well, fishing can always hurt the animal, but you know... <laughs> Uh, you can sell your catch or donate it to the museum. Looks like they're gonna going to need it. Oh, can I catch lionfish? That would be nice. Good luck. Although, moving from the ocean to a little aquarium 
it might be a little bit um a little bit sad okay so the items were moved to our mailbox that's nice uh what can i do for you i'm, I'm checking here in the shop okay so there's fish bait and they actually take the cockle oh gosh 70 well there we go <laughs> That was a lot. Um, actually, let's officially meet uh, meet Sunny. I don't know if it counts as us having met him in general. Um, no, it does. We have met Sunny and Jim and Eleanor, of course. But uh, let's see here. Rainy days were always. Uh, events when I was younger. We'd have to haul the boat inside the shack so it <laughs> didn't get rusty. Is that right? Seaward won't rush a boat, but rain will? Oh, rust. Ooh, okay, a little bit of a hiccup. Uh, the neighbors were a little bit loud. <laughs> but here we go. Uh, so let's see. I'm actually gonna ask if uh, if saltwater won't rust the, the boat because I didn't know that rain would. You know what? I don't know. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> but it seemed to work. Okay, well, that that's nice at least. <laughs> I know this place looks a little rough uh, around the edges, but that's the way I like it. It's the beach shack after all. Uh, not the beach mansion. No, that, that's fair. <laughs> beach mansion. Oh, come on. That was funny. <laughs> oh, wait, who's this? Oh, this is Sam. Thankfully, it didn't storm, huh? Uh, so, you tell me, Kiwi. As a farmer, how do you deal with this weather? With this weather? It's quite nice, actually. I always enjoy the walk here. <laughs> well, the, the weather is really nice, actually. I don't have to do anything. Um, well, we don't have to water our plants at all. At all. But uh, I suppose in real life... It, a rainy season is not the best if you're using um if you're using fertilizer because then it just kind of rains away and it's not good for nature either because then it rains into the water systems and creates a lot of problems with algae and stuff it, it overgrows algae blocking the sun uh to the bottom of the sea floor or river floor uh, and then, unfortunately, plants on the bottom can't grow, which means fish can't live, and then it just kind of extinctions everything. <laughs> but anyways, uh, that's why um, why fertilization is, is such a big problem uh, towards uh, water areas specifically. But um, let's see. Uh, Jim, oh, it's a draining. No wonder it's colder than usual. Yeah, that, that would make sense. I guess I'm glad I'll be spending my day next to a stove. I suppose that makes sense. Uh, if you want to talk, Sunny seems to be in the mood to chat. Okay. <laughs> I apologize, Jim. I was just trying to get to know you. Here we go. Oops. <laughs> Wrong button. Uh, there we go. So, we should actually go back. I think... Oh, hello. I think we know her. Um, yeah, Eva. Uh, I like to take inspiration from the beaches sometimes. The shells, the sea, so much material. Oh, do you create stuff? Are you going to plant flowers on your farm? If you do, uh, just don't give any to Charles. He has some sort of pollen sensitivity. Oh, speaking of flowers, we have a flower bouquet. Uh, here you go. Uh, to Eva? Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, no problem. <laughs> oh, there we go. So we've given our first gift to our first... Well, not friend, maybe. But, you know. <laughs> Close enough, I suppose. And I am still so excited for this. Can we talk? Have you given diving a try yet? Uh, no, it's closed. Oh, the machine... The machine at the pier? Yeah, it's a piece of very old technology. The machine at the pier? Oh, well, uh, no, I haven't given diving a try yet, because I can't. <laughs> it's blocked off. 
uh, by by you actually so you know oh there's a little fly very very common little fly but you know cute nonetheless okay so i'm thinking we go back to our uh, to our farm here so we get oh there's so much trash here oops i don't know what i just clicked but i clicked something <laughs> let's get rid of all this stupid trash huh it's the beginning of um well, a cleaner farm and a cleaner, cleaner nature in general here. Uh, with talk of fertilization, actually, uh, on plants, um, I wanted to kind of not use any for this playthrough, just for a fun little, you know, uh, for a fun little. So it's sort of representing the fact that we. It's very bad in, in uh, real life. Well, at least over fertilization. Um, it's not always bad. You, you can use it, but you know, usually it's not the best uh, in large amounts as well. At least uh, that kind of goes for a lot of things, though. <laughs> but here we go. Uh, so let's get rid of some fiber, um, some scrap. We have a ornate, ornate uh, coffer. So I'm going to get rid of that as well. I don't know what it does. Uh, there we go. So now we actually have a fishing pole and a bug net, which is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and we also have a new little wild seed thing here. Uh, so let's see if we can put this wild seed in... And we don't even know what it is. <laughs> I don't know if we can actually check what it is somehow. But let's go down here and see if we can find that other trash we were collecting earlier. Ah, oh, there it is. So we don't just leave it out here. That would be a bit depressing. <laughs> uh, some sort of weird blockage there. There we go. So I do wonder what I want to do next here. I I really want to focus on at least getting the the um the backpack because our bags fill up so fast and I would love to have a bigger <laughs> a bigger inventory so we can go collect all the insects and everything. <laughs> I suppose we could go look at the museum actually. Now that we don't we we don't have anything to really farm here. I'm just cleaning out all this silly trash. Oh, there we go. Seems like um, real life is interrupting a little bit today. <laughs> but let's go. Let's go look at the museum. Let's just leave a, a couple things here first. Uh, some some compost. What can you use this for? I have no clue. No clue. Uh, it's for farming. I don't know. I I guess it's fertilization. I'm assuming so. Anyways. Um. But, uh, but where is the, uh, the, the, what's it called, um, the museum? Oh, here it is. Okay, so it looks like Eleanor and someone else is in the museum. Okay, but we, I know that path, probably. <laughs> Watch me get lost now. <laughs> here we go. So, I wonder how you actually use the bug net. It's going to be quite interesting next time we find a bug. I'm assuming we have to sneak up at them. Uh, also, let's go look at the animals here. What? There's no animals out? That is actually surprising. Oh, hello. Waku. Uh, Kiwi, did you say? Did I say it right? I'm Waku. A pleasure to meet you. Dad told me about you. He's uh, the one who brought you here on the chicken boat. Oh. The, uh, yeah, <laughs> the one with the hat. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, did I hear po a Pokyo accent? Oh, you are? Where in Pokyo are you from? Uh, uh, <laughs> the busy part. <laughs> I see, the busy part. Of the place with lots of cars and tall buildings, I bet. Unfortunately, yes. But now I live here in this beautiful 
uh, on this beautiful island, I suppose. Not uh, particularly in it. But here we go. <gasps> Is that a bee cube in that nest? <gasps> Is that where we can put all our bugs? Okay, sorry. Sorry, I'm getting so excited. And there's aquariums. Okay. <laughs> I gotta wait for this guy to actually give us the whole... Oh, <laughs> the sad emoji. Oh, that's so sad. Hey, Scott. Nope, they haven't magically returned. Did you lose all your bugs? <laughs> oh, hello there. You're a kiwi, right? I'm sorry that you caught me at a bad time, but just look at this. It's so empty. My life's work. Oh, no. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thanks, kiwi. I worked so hard to fill the museum. Well, it wasn't completely filled up, but at least it's not... Uh, at least it's not as empty like this. <laughs> not gonna lie. When Millie told me the town was gonna uh, going to sell all of our collection, I was furious. It's not a feeling that I'm used to. Oh, they sold everything? I hope their little animals came, uh, got to a safe place at least. <laughs> the one thing I was um, good at made me feel useful. Is going to be taken away from me? I couldn't stand it. That is very sad. It's important to have things close to you that you feel like you, you're confident in and stuff to, to really make make life a little bit better. <laughs> um, but deep down, I knew the town really needed th the extra funds to clean the oil spill. There wasn't much I could do about it. Did they actually get to clean anything though? So I went back to the, my folks to cool down and think about what I'm going to do next. That's when I realized I had two options. Am I going to continue the pity party? Or am I going to rebuild the museum's collection now that the town isn't an, in an immediate, <laughs> immediate crisis? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, I can help you rebuild. That's right. I'm going to rebuild the collection. And I will, of course, help. By the way, Kiwi, I've heard some things about you. People tell me you're good at finding things. Now, I'm not too bad myself. But I certainly uh, can use that skill of yours. If you find anything interesting, why don't you bring it over? Uh, I can bring anything? Uh, not anything, anything. <laughs> we have a list of the items we want to display. Things like historical artifacts. Fossils? Sorry, fossils? That is amazing. I wonder if it's like real life dinosaur fossils as well. Or like trilobite fossils. I suppose dinosaurs aren't the only things fossilized. <laughs> Critters, sea creatures, and so on. Just drop by whenever we... Uh, and we'll see if anything in your bag can be displayed at the museum. Well, I don't think I have anything right now. So what do you say, Kiwi? Wanna help me fill the museum with treasures of the island? Definitely. That's what I like to hear. That's great! So we've started our whole museum quest here. <laughs> no farming game can be complete without a museum quest. Okay, so I'm wondering if this is like ocean uh, versus river here. Like freshwater, saltwater. Aquariums and then of course the insect. Uh, I don't remember what these are called. Mm, I'll have to look it up. <laughs> Oh, what's in here? Employees only. Looks like you can't go in there. Unlucky. <gasps> look at that fossil! Scott, look at the fossil! Are you looking at the fossil? I mean, you're working at it, so I was assuming... I, You know, I assume you are looking at it. <laughs> but it's so... Oh my gosh. Okay, the rain is really coming down here out there. Uh, I hope it doesn't ruin your plans for the day. Oh no, not at all. It gave me a lot of free time, actually. Working on these artifacts may sound odd, but it's actually incredible. Listen up. It's like having a time travel portal right here, allowing us a glimpse into the uh, fascinating world of our ancestors. The artifacts take me back in time. That's fair. Uh, a glimpse of what life was like. A quick look at how the world was hundred years, hundreds of years ago. I have actually been looking at a couple like prehistoric videos on uh, on YouTube specifically, and it's it's very fascinating. 
uh, all the life and things that happened before us. Oh gosh, it's getting a bit dark, so I suppose we should almost... Uh, it's almost time to head back now. I want to kind of find one singular little uh, butterfly or something. <gasps> Whoopam! Like a pine sphinx! <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect to camouflage among among the grass and leaves. And you can even see how big it is. That's so that's so amazing. Okay, so wait, we can see our journal. Advanced relationships. Mastery. <gasps> There's skills. I had no clue there were skills. <laughs> There's so much in this game. Oh gosh. Okay, um is Donate an item to the museum. I was going to do that right now. Okay, so here we have our journal. Derek. Uh, okay. Okay, so these are kind of the... Oh gosh, there's so many animals we haven't even met. What is this? Who in the world? <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> oh, there's... Ooh, there's some ocean stuff down here as well. A little bit of a glimpse towards the future. Um, yeah, there's there's extras. Have I not? I think I thought. Oh no, there's a mast as well and copper. There we go. And there's a bestiary. There are so many things here. This is ridiculous. Um, we found some gems. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! There's so many fossils. Okay, here we go. Caught. We have caught one out of tons of insects. <laughs> but let's go see. Oh, there's another one. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. This was harder than I thought. <laughs> okay. Uh, Polyphemus moth. A moth with a pair of eyes on its back. That is very, very cool. Let's donate this to the museum and then uh, call it a day, I think. Oh, hey, I think we, yeah, this is Theo. Today I was, uh, I want to focus on my soul and just feed my brain some thoughts. Well, that's fair enough. Uh, oh, donate here. I completely missed this somehow. Oh, and there's collection. Oh my gosh. Oh, and there's different like fire earth gems and stuff. Oh, this is so... Shark collection? Okay, no, this is too cool. I... I okay. <laughs> Let's donate our first items. The Pine Sphinx. And the Polyphemus Moth. <laughs> uh, okay. So, oh, there they are. Oh, you guys. This is going to be so cool. This is going to be so cool. But... I mean, if you guys want to join us on this and many more adventures, I would love to um, hear a comment or maybe get a subscription so we can all enjoy these adventures together. But until next time, bye bye.